Beyond the dam itself, it's an historical symbol for Sudan. President Omar al-Bashir inaugurated with great ceremony the Rasiris Dam. The 66-year-old structure has been renovated and expanded. The dam now stands 10 meters higher, which doubles its storage capacity. The dam's storing limit has risen to 7.4 billion cubic meters. The four-year work costs $460 million. The dam is located on the Blue Nile, near the Ethiopian border. It is already a major power generator for Sudan, with 280 megawatt production. The expansion should increase the power generation by 50 percent. The production would then reach 420 megawatts. 22,000 people were displaced for the extension of the 25-kilometer dam. The renovation of the dam should also be beneficial to poor rural areas in Sudan. The new structure will irrigate 2 million hectares of land over the year. Meanwhile, several industry projects have been launched. Fishery, transformation of gum arabic, the dam is set to boost the region where two-thirds of the people live below poverty line. Sudan appealed to the international community to help fund the expansion. Kuwait was the most generous country with a $212 million loan. Other Arab countries contributed to finance the projects like Saudi Arabia. A Chinese company took care of the renovation. Sudan celebrated the same day the 57th anniversary of its independence. Sudan lost its oil revenues with the separation of South Sudan in 2011. Khartoum sees agricultural development as a way out of its current economic crisis. The government made a series of investments in the hydroelectricity industry. After the inauguration of Meru Dam in 2009 and the renovation of the one in Rosaris, two new projects should be built in 2016.